I'm going to do something a bit different here. I'm going to show you guys a five seconds video before I really start my speech. So, here we go. So, as you can see, something made me really, really excited. And I sorry I cursed, like I just barely woke up and this is a great news for me. And yes, I'll leave it for a mystery now, but you guys will know as I walk through the speech. Like many of you guys sitting right here, I've been a dreamer since I was a child. I imagined that I would become an F1 racer, a detective like Colin, and a public celebrity. And I have always been nostalgic from my childhood because it's a time when I was not bound by uh, different things and I could freely fantasize about what I want to do in the future. I was a kid who was interested in everything, I mean literally everything. And uh, I, I still give up, sometimes I just give up when I lost interest in some awesome topics. And now I grow up, do I still dream? Yes. Definitely. When I was in elementary school, I started becoming interested in hip hop music. I started listening to Eminem songs, Jay Z songs, if you can't believe it. Um, when I was 11 years old, and I and I like it, and I enjoyed it. At the time, I didn't understand the meaning behind the music, behind the lyrics, but I simply enjoyed it. In 2016, I formed my own band called Crush, and we wrote several words, and we had a great time together. And in 2017, more importantly, I released my first single called Why Like. And it's been released on Net Music, and which marked it as my beginning of the music career. And it was also that year that Rap from China first landed on IGE, and hip hop music for the first time in history became so popular nationwide. In fact, many people have doubted me. Um, I've been questioned and criticized a lot during that time. And to be honest, I was really hurt, but this did not affect my continued dreaming of music. I still want to be a big star, sitting on a big stage, and a lot of fans, you know, I want to be a professional musician. People did not to dream because they denied themselves from the beginning. They think about the task they have to complete, the different things they have to do, the time to be spent, and various factors that made them give up their dreams. However, the most important thing is that we are young, we are the new generation, unlike our parents who are sometimes bounded by realities, jobs, and families. We have a lot more rooms and freedom to do what we want to do, to think what we want to think. You may wonder, like, am I just still dreaming, but like, not doing anything? No, but dreaming is the first step. If you're not dare to think, how can you have the courage to do it? And you may also wonder, are we as students not bounded by realities? I mean, we do. We have a lot to consider, but I firmly believe if you have a, if you're passionate about something, you always find a way. My father did not particularly support me uh, for my music career. Oh, um, yeah, my father never listened in my music career because he think, you know, I'm not coming from a musical family, so I I have no musical talent, but. Um, as my songs got more recognition, my music video got more views, I, I, own my, I earned my own money through uh, different performances, I gradually proved my worth to my dad. And one day at one point, I saw him sharing my music video with my relatives, and I know at that particular point, he's proud of me. And in April 2000. At the same time, I did not. At the same time, I did not throw my school life away. I tried to maintain the perfect GPA. Um, Try to look for different activities and do best in the school, like many of you guys right here. And I also set my own rules, which is if I have not complete the academic task, I'm not allowed to play any music. In 2019, I joined Rap China season three, but sadly, I didn't get a gold chain from Tenzichi, and I. I fell, but do I stop dreaming? No, I still dream to this day. I joined season five this year, and which is the reason that I cannot be here in person with you guys, because I gotta have shooting with the show. But I just wanna say that I, to this moment, to right now, I still dream about music. Life is about constant dreaming, and step by step completing those goals that seems difficult to others. One thing that I learned for the past 20 years of my life, 
only one thing is that nothing comes easy when you are jealous of a big star standing on a big stage. You you have to know that they made great efforts to be in that position. So, you know, like you don't know what kind of experiences, what kind of difficulties they have been faced. So, if you want to be successful, a good attitude is needed. Dreaming is only the first step. The hardest one is the action. You have the goals. You have to think about how to fulfilling those. I entered University of California early in 2019, but often thinking about transferring to a more competitive school. And don't get me wrong, the UCI is a perfect, it's a great school. But you know, due to some personal reason, I still decided to transfer in March 2020. And you know, actually, I know a lot of people who, like me, want to transfer to a new school. But when it really comes to point that requires action, they the thing is too complicated because they have to retook the TOEFL exam, do a different task. So they soon give up the idea. And this is my friend told me it's, it's really happening. It's a real story. He said, "You know what? It's too complicated. I'm just gonna stay here." Right. So they dream, but they did not act. They think about all the difficulties they will face, and they soon give up. I wait for a whole year for my result, and I do everything I say before I retook exams. I I participate in activities, I reach out professor for letters, and I wait for the whole year. And now, as you can tell, I uh, the video I show at the beginning is when I received the offer from University of California, Berkeley. And now I'm officially transferring from an editor to a peer now. Woo! And it's all about setting goals and fulfilling those goals. Um, if you have one of those dreams, and you are feeling that you know you are not confident, you find it troublesome. I want to tell you that if this thing continually exists in your mind and you continue dreaming, dreaming about it, I want to tell you that you are you have a passion on it. And if you have a passion on it, you should go for it. Why not? All the investments and efforts will pay off. And and. Right, like, um, always start from the smaller things. If you want to go skydive, if you want to make your own video, if you want to, uh, you know, produce your own closing print, just go for it, why not? I will tell you guys my dream right now. I'm gonna uh, go to a top 40 law school and after I graduate, and I want to go to North Korea for travel, and I want to pass the bar exam. Those all, this is all my dreams. And I believe that after I complete those dreams, maybe in 10 years, you guys can invite me back. I'll have a much better speech than this one. But anyway, I will end this speech with one of the quote from one of my favorite hip hop musicians, uh, Tupac Shakur. He once said that reality is wrong, dreams are for real. Thank you, everyone. Uh, it's my honor to be here.